here's my story. I truly was at the abyss of life. I've been at rock bottom. I thought I was hopeless and utterly lost. I myself was trapped in the victim mentality for many years, struggling to find a way out. And I made the choice to do so. First crawled out of the hole, then started to walk, and I'm now striding through life with newfound lasting confidence, integrity, joy, and contentment. Everyone has a life story. Here is a very short version of mine. My life was supposed to end on a dry, cold February day in 1998. It seemed to be a day like each other. It seemed to be a day like any other. Nobody that saw me driving in my burgundy van with the happy face license plate on the highway would have thought that I was as desperate as I really was. I was aiming for the next bridge post that seemed sturdy enough to hold up to a deadly collision. Obviously, that didn't happen. Oh, I wouldn't be here today. That day, an inner voice woke up, telling me to do what then was the hardest thing I ever did, to ask for help. Why did that seem so difficult to me? You know, I grew up and trained as a physician and naturopath in Germany, married another family doctor, had two kids, and then trained to become additionally a dermatologist and allergist and a naturopath. My life looked very promising and successful until fate hit. First, my back gave out, a disc slipped, and during four weeks in a hospital, I had to learn to walk again. Always having been a fighter, I did and started over, but it wasn't meant to be. Another disc slipped, putting me back in agony and this time depression. Shortly afterwards, my then husband decided to commit suicide. So I was left sick, in pain, depressed, alone with two teenage sons and immigration papers to Canada. So over 20 years ago, in 1997, we came to Halifax, Nova Scotia. This turned out to be the best decision of my life, but at first it made things worse. Lonely, isolated, I felt worse until that fateful February day came along when I was ready to quit living. The emotional pain had become worse than the physical pain and it was harder to manage or even tolerate. So tears streaming down my face because I couldn't even succeed in killing myself. I drove myself to the nearest emergency room. I was fortunate to be admitted to the local mental hospital. Very humbling for a former physician, let me tell you. After four weeks as an inpatient, with medication dulling my pain, I received six weeks of group psychotherapy, a truly life-changing experience. I got well enough to see the hope on the horizon, a light at the end of the tunnel but I was still struggling in the dark. A few months later, I met my current husband and he has been with me since then through another about seven years of struggle while I was reading all that I could, learning, studying, taking courses and more. I was dreaming of a better life without being able to grasp it. Then in about 2005, a realization hit me. I had a choice, the choice to accept things as they were or to start changing. I needed to make a decision, a decision for real change. The decision that I did not want to accept the condition I was in as permanent, that the life I found myself in was not the life I wanted to live. And that truly living my best life was a real possibility and my sole responsibility. So I started. I had weight loss surgery and lost 150 pounds. 
a good start for someone at 315 pounds. Then in tiny steps, falling off the wagon over and over again and getting back on, I started to take the right supplements, ate better, changed my lifestyle and thought patterns gradually. And I reconnected with my true purpose, which always was and still is to help others that are still struggling in the dark to see the hope. That's why I started Doc Christine Coaching, to help others see the light at the end of the tunnel, the lighthouse in their fog, and to get on solid ground in their life. And if you resonate with this story, I'm inviting you to go ahead and book a free call with me to talk about your story. I promise to listen and care, and maybe I will have a few tips. See the link? I'd love to hear your story.